An OLTS, short for Optical Loss Test Set, doesn't measure loss. It actually measures power at a given point. It calculates loss by comparing this power to what is called a reference power value. Hence the importance of performing a proper referencing on your OLTS. The referencing measures and stores the value of the source power, minus the loss of the various patch cords and connectors required to do the measurement. Before doing any referencing though, make sure you have high quality test cords and that all connectors are inspected and clean. To perform a reference with the MAX 945 or FTBX 945, select the Fast Test tab, then click on Set New Reference. This will open a page with various reference methods. Let's explore what these methods are. There are three types of referencing. One test cord, two test cords, or three test cord methods. The one test cord reference is the preferred method as it yields the most accurate measurements. The first step consists of connecting a test cord from the light source to the power meter. After the connection has been made, set the reference at each available wavelength. Next, add a second test cord to validate the connection that will be present in the network. Leave these two test cords in place when testing the link. The two test cord method is used mainly when the connector on the power meter differs from the one on the fiber link under test. Since it includes a connection mating in the reference, this method will yield less accurate test results than the recommended one cord reference method. The first step consists of connecting the two test cords together using a coupler. The user will then set a reference with TC1 and TC2 connected. The loss from both test cords and the connection are included in the reference. Next, disconnect test cord 1 from test cord 2 and connect to the link to be tested. Using the two cord method will provide optimistic results since connectors will show variability and this is inevitable, variability will then translate into measurement uncertainty. In some instances, it may not be possible to use the recommended method. Such cases may include situations where connectors at both ends of the DUT are from different types. These cases call for the three cord method. Set the reference using three test cords to match connectors on the test set as well as those on the link to be tested. Once the reference has been performed, the TC3 is removed and the link to be tested is connected. The three cord method may also be used when testing MPO trunks. In this use case, fanouts must be used to convert from LC to MPO, including the appropriate gender. All these reference types can apply to any power meter and light source. The MAX 945 and FTBX 945 offer a unique fast test port, a port that includes both source and power meter, in addition to a dedicated power meter port. The reference measurements discussed can be done with two units using the fast test port of each unit. This is called the side-by-side -side reference method. Or each test set can do a single cord referencing by using the fast test port as source and the power meter port. This is called the loopback reference method. Loopback method is less accurate and cannot be used with certification standards, but is a great backup when the two units are at different and far away locations. Let's return to the instrument. Select the reference method you want to use. On-screen instructions will differ depending on the method selected. Follow the steps and click finish when you are done and ready to go. Remember that a side-by-side, -side, one test cord reference is the preferred and most accurate way, but other methods do exist to adapt to various scenarios where the preferred method is not possible.